Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we look at the Ultimate Airdrops plugin. So as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to create these airdrops that will spawn randomly on your server and your players can rush to find them and grab the loot that is inside. So here is an example that I found earlier. You can see in chat that uh, one was spawned and it gives you the rough coordinates. I obviously just teleported there to make things easier. And then inside was 51 diamonds and seven golden apples. And then you can see it's uh, got a colored name test. And what we're gonna do today is show you how to use and set up the plugin. So let's go ahead and spawn another one in so we can do the airdrop summon command. And this is ID one. It's now going to give two more coordinates. So let's go ahead and do TP minus 250. Uh, let's just do 100 for the vertical. And let's do minus 279 teleport here and we are up on the mountain and there should be a chest somewhere around here there it is so as you can see it's not completely next to the coordinates you do have to look around for a little bit and if we right click it you can see it says you have started to unlock test and there are 30 seconds left so this will give an opportunity for other players in the nearby area to rush to the chest potentially take you out and then steal the contents for themselves. So there we go, test has been unlocked around minus 250, minus 279. If we right click now, it will open. And this time we got 24 diamonds and 17 golden apples. So you can customize the min and max amounts and the percentage chance of getting a certain item. It's highly customizable and we are just gonna jump straight into it. So if we do forward slash airdrops create, we're gonna call it, uh, let's call it server miner that's going to create a brand new one. And as you can see, there's a GUI with a ton of options. So we're gonna go through most of these pretty quickly, but uh, let's start at the top left. We've got the items. This is where we want to put, say, an emerald up here, and then maybe next to it, an iron ingot. So once you're happy with all the items that can possibly spawn in it, you can go to item options. And then in these two slots, you can see are the emerald and iron. And then what we can do is shift click to change the percentage. So let's do 50%. And if we look here, Emerald only has a 50% chance of spawning, Iron is 100%. And then we have the min and max amounts. So let's go ahead and reduce this a little bit. So right click and maybe 12 is the maximum for that one. And then we can left click and the minimum is going to be five for the Iron. And obviously you can change that to your liking. If we go back, we can change the name. So I'm gonna set a nice color code and then we can set the chance. So I'm going to click this and set it to a hundred. We've got the block type. So by default that is chess. I'm gonna leave that spawn world. So you can change that if you've got a different world. And then we have the max coordinates. So X, Y, and Z. You have the defaults there. You can change it if you've got a smaller world, but I'm gonna leave those as is. And then this is quite a good option to turn on. So the airdrop will only spawn in loaded chunks that have obviously been explored before so left click to set that to true avoid block type so water by default and then you can set up world guard region offsets if you want as well as flags and then time to unlock we are going to change this we don't want it quite so long maybe let's do five seconds minimum players to spawn so maybe if there's only one player on the server they can't spawn and they can't farm it there is a second page and you can set explosions if you want the public location broadcast spawn and then a few other things do you want holograms yes or no but that is the majority and if we go back, we can hit confirm. And if we've done everything right, we have created a brand new airdrop. We can do airdrops list to see the two. And you can see they've both got colorful names and both 100% chance of spawning. And then if we do countdown, that will say when the next one is, which is going to be in 20 hours. So instead of waiting that long, we are just going to summon another one again. This is going to be airdrop two. And let's go and teleport to Minus 231, let's do 100 on the Y, and then minus 93. So going up to the surface, we can easily spot the airdrop. Here it is, and let's go ahead and right click. So this should take five seconds. If you continue to spam it, it still says it's locked. And there we go, I have unlocked it, and you can see the nice name we set up there. We've got 12 emeralds, the max amount, and some iron. So here we are on the SM Hitting control panel. You can see there's a few YMLs. The main one you want to adjust is the config and in here there's a lot of stuff we can set so most of these are just the defaults that you can obviously change with the GUI. If we scroll down a bit we've got the cooldowns so obviously the delay is quite long 72,000 seconds 
So you can change that or set it to zero to disable. And then if we scroll down a bit, you can see there's more conditions that are just default in here that you can adjust. The spawn world, obviously if you have a world with a different name, make sure you change that, otherwise it will not spawn. Various other things that we looked at, such as the spawn checks and world guard regions. So here we are on the spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.21, and you can see here is the editor we used. This is what it looks like with the laser and the hologram above it, so it looks pretty nice. And then if we scroll down, we have the commands and permissions and then the placeholder API. So if you need any support, there are some links here you can use to contact if you have any issues. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.